another one of these. Yeah, mate, the last one needed a bit of work. <laughs> this is another what I eat in a day video. For breakfast, I'm cooking a Spanish omelette, so let's get cracking. I'm gonna cut my potatoes nice and fine for this one, just so they cook a lot faster. Spanish frittata is actually one of my favorite breakfasts to have. The potatoes are a good source of carbs for before my training, and also the eggs are a good source of protein. Got a little bit of potassium in there too, and a little bit of fat from the olive oil and the eggs. So it's gonna be perfect for a training session that's not too intense, and it'll be a nice, tasty meal. Got a little bit of basil on top here as well. And of course, some homemade chili relish. Let's see what's on the program today. So I'm on the bike for three hours today, but I have to do about half of the ride, around 300 watts. Since I don't have any real efforts today, I'm not gonna be focusing on too much on eating heaps of carbs. Around 60 grams an hour is probably enough. So I've got a few bananas per hour, and I also have two bottles of mix, which will take me up to about 60 an hour. So since I'm not going really hard, I like to try and keep this as natural as possible, not eating a whole heap of gels and that. So. My main goal today, just make sure I stay hydrated in this crazy heat. It's about 40 degrees, so gonna be drinking around one and a half liters an hour or as close to as possible, and that should get me through it. I'm back from trading now. First things first is a big smoothie. In this, I've got some frozen banana, I've got some coconut water, I've got a big tablespoon of honey, and then a whole mango. Over the course of three hours today, I lost about one and a half kilos of sweat while drinking one and a half liters of water an hour. So it's bloody hot out there. And this smoothie is a perfect thing to replenish your body with everything that you've lost. Number one, the carbohydrates. Number two is all the fluid that you've lost. And number three is the minerals and the electrolytes that you've lost. So this is gonna have heaps of potassium in it from the coconut water and also the bananas. Got some carbs in the bananas and also the honey. And then the fluid obviously is the coconut water too. So bottoms up. Alrighty, lunchtime. After my ride today, I just had a smoothie, but I didn't have any protein in it. So this meal is gonna to have to make up for it. I'm gonna do a dill and lemon salmon. This is Tasmanian salmon. And I'm gonna pair that with a wild rice palaf. For the palaf, I have some Brussels sprouts, which I'm going to shave down. I've got some carrots and some onion, which I'm gonna dice up and fry. Then I've got some minced garlic. And I also have some uh, vegetable stock, which is what I'm going to cook the wild rice in. And as far as the salmon, so I've got the Tasmanian salmon, I've got my dill here, and I've also got lemon to put on top. I'm gonna to start off with the two cups of wild rice, and I'm going to cook that in about two and a half cups of vegetable stock, just for a little bit of extra flavor, so it's not as bland. Then I'm going to chop up all my vegetables nice and fine, and I'm going to saute them in a pan until they're clear. So the goal of this is just to develop a bit of flavor in them. Next, I'm going to zest a full lemon and mix that in with a little bit of lemon juice and dill that I have. While these vegetables are sauteing, I'm gonna chuck in a few teaspoons of garlic just for a little bit of extra flavor. And now I'm going to sear my salmon. Yeah. <laughs> 
Once that's cooked through, I'm going to add the lemon to the salmon to finish cooking, mix in my wild rice with the vegetables, and then we're ready to go. I'm on the way to the gym for an afternoon session now. I've actually just finished my adaptation phase of training, so I'm starting to lift a little bit heavier now and less reps. So this session will be about an hour and a half. And for after the session, I've got two nut protein bars. So I have about 25 grams of protein for after the session, just to recover a little bit, get some energy back into my body. So I've just wrapped up at the gym now, had a good session and I ate my protein bars on the way home. Now I'm just gonna have some Greek yogurt, a few pears, some honey and some cinnamon. So just a simple little snack this afternoon. Usually if I've done a more intense ride, done a lot more efforts, I'll probably make this snack with a little bit more carbs, but because today was pretty easy, I didn't do any intensity, I'm just gonna keep it a bit lower carb um, and just enough protein to keep me satiated for the afternoon. <laughs> it's dinner time now and I'm going to cook some Asian style beef noodles. So I'm going to make some egg noodles here with three eggs and a little bit of milk. And then I'm going to mix in my flour. I don't really have a recipe for this. I just go by feel of the dough. It makes it easier for me. So for dinner, I'm fueling for the training that I'm going to be doing tomorrow, which is three hours. And I'm gonna have a few efforts actually. So I'm gonna have a few more carbs than I have had earlier in the day. That's going to be about 300 grams of this pasta. I'm just rolling this pasta out nice and thin so then I can slice it up with the knife on the bench. This is just because I don't have a pasta machine in Australia, but I do at my place in Europe. I'm gonna boil that pasta just really briefly until it's cooked. It doesn't take long when it's fresh. It's time to get cracking on the veggies and the beef. Tonight I'm gonna to cook it on the barbie, so I'm just gonna slice up these veggies and then cook it on a really high heat to char it a little bit. Into the veggies, I'm just adding a bit of soy sauce, sesame oil, and some hui sin. I'm gonna let that marinate a little bit. I'm gonna grill the steak on really high heat and get a nice medium rare in the middle. I'm gonna mix in my pasta and then plate up the steak on top and a few sesame seeds to finish things off. And that's how to cook my Asian style beef noodles. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. That is everything that I eat in a day as a pro cyclist. If you like the recipes that I cooked today, make sure you let me know in the comments or request something for me to cook in the next one. And I'll see you in the next video.